Hi friends, it's Quinn here with PTSD while black. Um, trying to vlog every day in June. I wasn't really myself very much so uh, yesterday because I learned of um, a friend of mine dying uh, during childbirth. Um, her heart stopped for 15 minutes and uh, um, they had had her on, in a uh, medically induced coma for several days and um, because of her heart stopping she'd had um, brain damage and um, they just decided to pull the plug yesterday because um, most of her brain was gone other than her brain stem um, and she was really breathing being supported by machines and so they, they took chose to take her off life support um and so I'm just um, saddened I'm glad that her baby um, made it he's an ICU but um, that I can't be there for the family that I didn't really stay in close contact with her to begin with and I'm just finding myself filled with a lot of regret because I didn't tell her how proud I was of her that she was able to be just who she is that she could be her geeky self that she could love Harry Potter and she wasn't afraid of you know sharing it and showing it um, that she could just be a dork and I felt like I was so tight laced when we um, were singing together that like I couldn't be myself I was still hiding under blonde wigs um, but I just loved how in our group it was kind of a body positivity body acceptance kind of singing group and there I was terrified of my body terrified of being me didn't know my own singing voice and she just knew her voice she knew who she was she knew what made her look beautiful and she just loved herself um, at least the way that I perceived her and I'm so proud of her that she has that ability she has that ability she has that ability to be herself and I didn't tell her that more often and that's what I'm really thinking about is all the regrets I have of not telling people that I admire them more often or that I'm sorry or connecting and saying you know just how are you doing because you don't know when somebody is not going to be here and you won't have that chance again I woke up at five this morning with another PTSD episode and what was on my mind were two things and one was that with her brain being that severely damaged even if they could have kept her in a medically induced coma and she was to come out of it she wouldn't be herself if there was some magical way that she came out of it she would not have been herself um, because I, I see this with the, the folks in my um, brain injury support group like there was a guy who was in a coma for 60 days um, and he's still having trouble with walking and talking and memory and it's been several years since since his accident um, and what we hear about the most is we all share the common bond that our families are upset that we're not who who we were before our injuries and for her to just have a baby and to not know to not be able to care for her own child um, would be terrifying um, so that was on my mind and then the other thing that was on my mind was um, that when we were in cabaret together we sang Proud Mary together and she really liked to try to draw out the, the southern drawl while singing it it was kind of funny because I have a recording of it but uh, that became one of the songs that I used to I would sing at karaoke all the time and I'm gonna have to start singing it again that um, she also sang Stormy Weather 
and I love Billie Holiday's version, and she did a great job um, honoring Billie with that song. And in fact, I have in my mind when I think of the song, I really think of more of the way Joss sang it. Um, it's kind of the way that I know the song now is from hearing her. And I think the lyric that life is bare and gloom and misery everywhere, stormy weather. I can't get my poor heart together. I can't keep my poor self together. It keeps raining all the time is where I'm feeling right now. But, you know, I think I'm okay. And I think that I can do something today. I think that I'm well rested or what have you. And then a memory will just come up and I'm bawling again. And I guess with the stages of grief or whatnot, I'm going through the whole thing of blaming God for letting this happen. I mean, this is somebody who's wanted to have kids for years and she and her husband were trying forever and then finally to get pregnant. And then she doesn't even get to meet her son. Um, just sad. I'm really sad. Um, I'm angry that there are people who abuse their kids and neglect their kids and they can keep popping them out left and right. But when you got someone who is genuinely loving and loves children, she was a teacher and she, she can't carry a kid to term. I'm just, I'm angry. I guess I'm being childish and having that upset moment that life really isn't fair and it's stupid. <laughs> so that that is where I am. This is where I am at the moment. Um, and I'm just... Just hurting. Just hurting. The more, I'm just more regretting that I didn't tell her how proud I was of her and how much she taught me, whether she knew it or not, um, how much she contributed to me being able to see what it's like to be unapologetically you versus keeping up appearances and staying in a stiff little box. Cause that's what I felt like I was living in when we were, um, performing together is what I felt like. So I have a list of people that I wanted to make amends to and reach out to that I haven't seen in a while, haven't talked to in a while. And so I'm gonna, I guess this week as a form of healing for me would be good for me to, to do some writing and um, write to folks, make some phone calls um, and own up for my part of not being present. So that's what I can do. But for right now, I will feel my grief. I will experience my grief. But there is there is a next step. And when I'm ready, I can take that next step. But just knowing it's there. All right. Till next time.